We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. It's the IE's home for sports. KPWK AM 1350, Riverside, San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. This is Rob Lentau for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. <sighs> great city of Riverside, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association. It's Fox Sports Radio AM 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you follow us at foxsports1350.com. And it's a great thing we're talking about the Sheriff's today because it is the, the I, you know, we call the Inland Valley Classic the granddaddy of them all. But uh, the Riverside Sheriffs are right on their back, and they may want to take that title. And you know what? It has nothing to do with the fact that the Riverside Sheriffs Association president sent me a text and said the SWAT will be there today. Um, It has nothing to do with that. It may help, but, uh, yeah, the SWAT will be there today. Um, So, and the good thing is we're going to have the current president and the past president at the uh, at the game today. So Millennial wants to take pictures while we're on live radio, but it's all good, man. Um, so we will have them both at the stadium uh, today. So I'm pretty excited about that, man. So it's, it's going to be a good game. We, have, um, we still have some unfinished bu- business when it comes to the Inland Valley Classic. We have two players in studio that uh, we have oh, our— Oh, boy. Yes, our MVP is in studio. And then we had uh, Jordan Barton uh, as well in studio from Damien High School. And were, these were they are, on the same team or, or no? Yes, they were. They indeed were. They were um, on the same side. They were on that side of the 15 freeway, the victorious that way, team. That way. Um, they were. And they um, um, those were two players that when we looked at it, we just I started looking at the social media. And I tell you, Cade, I, I got to get in his fan club. I mean, it, him alone, he had, I think, two or three clips that, that, that probably got over 2,000 views Yeah, Cade, um, Cade was on him. There, sauced out. And Jordan as well. Jordan was right behind him as well. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think he was north of eight or 900. He, we had one clip of him. He was north of eight or 900. I mean, these kids get Well, you uh, know, it, it, uh, was, it was really a great game uh, last week. I mean, for the folks that missed it, I mean, a really, really uh, well-received game, overtime game. Uh, first, first ever. Ever, 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 overtime game. I think and in any sport, this is a basketball, football, soccer. I think we had one in basketball. Okay, yeah. okay. I think we had one in basketball, but for football, for sure. Uh, that was our first one. So, congratulations. For Most competitive game, one point. Yeah. Uh, and this is the and, thing and, about the NFL has this, the extra point is what decided the game. Kate, I went out there and made a great play at the end, just, you know. Uh, we're going to have to ask him about that. Now, uh, I didn't see it. Did he make the pitch or did he receive the pitch? He made the pitch. Okay, gotcha. If I'm not gotcha. mistaken. Because he's the QB. He's the quarterback. Right, yeah. right, right. He's my quarterback. You know, I got emotional. I said, you know, when I saw that he confirmed he's going to be here, I said, <laughs> that's my quarterback. <laughs> yeah. I know it's emotional for uh, yeah, uh, that, a Cowboys I mean, fan. Too, so, soon, uh, yeah. too soon, too soon, too soon. You've been saying that 20 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, no. But it's, you got uh, a new coach. But I digress. <laughs> Jason yeah. Garrett is now a giant, so, you know. He's on the staff. Yeah. What about that, that the dilemma? That he didn't want to leave. He said, hey, let's reconsider firing me. Like, Yeah, man, I don't even want what, what to. Is- <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was- How about them Cowboys? I was so confused. <laughs> um, well, but- you realize that you've never been to Dallas, never been to Arlington, and you're not a Cowboy fan. But go ahead. I digress. <laughs> I've, sli- I've been through that. Well, I've been to Dallas, period. Have you I- been to Arlington? That's where the Cowboys are. Don't matter. <laughs> it's where your heart's at. Ho- home is where the heart is. Hey, uh, but yeah. The stars at night. It's okay, man. Are All big right. and bright. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Deep you know? in the heart. Of hey, things. let me tell you something. I am fine. I'm doing yes. just, just fine. There you uh, go. But, all right, boys, the men, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be all right. Uh, it, it ain't raining. Uh, but no, it's a. Uh, Thank it's a, God for that. Oh, my God, man. Woo. Last year, let me tell you something. I remember last year. Um, cause we were doing yeah. weather reports. No, I, I was, I'm telling you, I was in the parking lot of Ramona. Praying. Se- no, I'm talking about uh, talking to the ancestors. Right, right. Please, right. Come down and hold the, hold a bucket over. Ramona it might have been a sign. That's the first time we ever did a game in Ramona. The first and only time it ever rained. Oh, yeah. So right. no, it maybe it was a sign. It wasn't the first ever time it ever rained. It was the first time. No, it, no it, On game day. No, it, was, it, it rained was before. It that was a sign. That that gonna, was somebody telling me. You know what? <laughs> but, you know, it was crazy because I think 
what was really difficult about that game is that it was forecasted to rain. Right. Um, that day. And it so, was cold. And it was, very, you know, so it was really, really tough. So a lot of people kind of like already made it in their minds they weren't going to come out. Uh, whereas today it's just, it's just bright and sunny. The sun's out. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little nippy Johnson outside. I don't know if you mm-hmm. know nippy Johnson, but I know nippy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be a little cold out there. It's gonna be a little brisk. Mm-hmm. So make sure you bring a scarf or mm-hmm. two. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited about it, Coach B. Like you said, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, last week's game. But I want to make sure we tell the people again tonight is going down to this tonight double header. Uh, it's gonna be the two fifteen All Star Classic. Coach Legier taking on Coach Fleming. That'll be uh, kicking off at five o'clock sharp. And then we will have the uh, Coach B, as he says, the the the, the, the giant uh, of the game, the the ro- the, the the Robo game, uh-huh. uh huh, going to be happening. The Riverside Sheriff Association, true indeed, All Star Riverside County All Star game will be kicking off right immediately thereafter at seven thirty. Uh, so you want to make sure you get there. And if you buy tickets to the early game, you can stay for free. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So the kids don't pay a penny to be in the game. The, the kids don't pay no money. And they get their jerseys for free. D- d- drop a bomb on them, holla. And then uh, you're telling me if I buy a ticket to the 215, yes. I can stay for the RSA. You can stay for the RSA. Or if I get early for the RSA. If you get there early, you I can, can watch the 215. You can watch the 215. A double header. Yeah. We're not going to. Same gonna, price. We're not going to keep you outside. You know. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Drop a bomb on that. We're not going to sweep the stadium and say, hey, no, you no, guys no, got to no, come no. back we in and buy new tickets. We ain't going to sit there and do all that. Okay, okay. You know? All right. All right. Um, because, you know, because. <laughs> Because we got the SWAT in the house. There you go. We got That's the SWAT. true indeed. The SWAT. two armored trucks will be. We just got word right now from Mr. Mr. Young that, oh boy. Yeah. So if you want to tonight, tonight's not the night, folks. And we're hoping that the uh, <laughs> we're hoping the big dog will be that. We called him the Riverside County Sheriff's. Hopefully yeah. the Riverside. Well, if not, Sheriff. I mean, if not, our guy Mr. Young will be out there doing the honorary coin flip. That's true you indeed. Know, man, that is our guy right there. But yeah, get, again. and Mr. Masson will be in the house oh, as well. Man, oh, oh my God. It's, you know, this is going to be going down. So it's it's going to be a great night. Uh, we've been the, – the 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 community has just really just – oh, I've done them, respect on it. I, I've done themselves this year. Just went out there and just really embraced it. You know, because we've – like they said, we really got the great coaches in here this time. We got Coach McMains over there, first year at Citrus Hill. Not the first time he's been out this coaching thing because he's been doing this for a while. Uh, but, again, he's going to be out there first year at Citrus Hill. He made the, he made the ticket. And then Coach Bardorf. Uh, over at Norda Vista will be taken on the other side. So, again, it's going to be West or, wait, wait, Southwest taking on. What is it, Coach B? Help me out, man, real quick. No, no, so, you Southeast, have Northwest and you have Southeast. So, yeah, yeah. I always think of Kanye's kid. Ah. So, when, whenever I think, that's how I remember uh, the name of the game. Just think of <laughs> Kanye, you know. Yeah, they say Northwest. North, so, so. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go north and south because, because you know, in the two fifteen, I mean, excuse me, in the IVC game, we have that east and west. Right. So right. we're gonna go north and south on this one right here. So that's right. cool. And you know, well, you know, we go ahead and throw it out there. That two fifteen, it's gonna get some revamping coming Uh-oh. next year. Uh-oh. And uh, you know, I go ahead and throw it out there. We got eyes on us, man. Uh, big schools, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, get ready. Uh oh. Because because here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. Uh oh. When I when I when I went to Riverside. I felt a little disrespected because Riverside was, you know, they saying they want. They don't know they, you. They say they, they want a piece of, of San Bernardino. They don't know you like that. The largest county in this fine, great union that we call America. Uh, the America. largest county, you America. know, geographically. As I said before, I said all the time, you go from Grand Terrace to Nevada. Um, that is San Bernardino County. So if they want it, if they want it, Riverside, you know, it's enough. I'm, I, I'm, I've taken enough shots. You're going to get what you want. We coming. Just want you to know, bro. We I'm, coming. Well, hey, look. I mean, it sounds great. <laughs> um, it really does. You know, we we uh, we paved. We, you know, I think when San Bernardino, we we paved our streets a long time ago. You know, we paid our dues. And, right. And uh, I'm here to tell you, Bell City. Right. Right. Bell City. Right. East, west, and the hill. We what right. does a bell have to do with Riverside? I, I just I know it's the well mission because end, when we hit I you, just when we hit it. you with something, all you see is a bell. Well, you know, with us, we sit back with with, with spears. That's what an arrowhead is. Oh, okay, okay. So just so you know. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we say, coming with it. I was going to say shots fired, but maybe right. spears fall. <laughs> think of the Kansas City Chiefs. Just think of that. that that. But we coming, man. We can't wait to do it. And, you know, interesting story. I know you probably know more about this. But, no. but one of the coaches that's on the staff with the 215, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, McMaines, he was saying that they, they used to have a game. It was called the City Slickers 
versus the country bumpkins. And wow. I said, what was that? He said it was Riverside San Bernardino. This is like, he said, yeah, you know, yeah. 30, 40 years ago. And I said, well, who were the city slickers? He said San, San Bernardino, Bernardino County. Was. Yes, it was. And County. Riverside was considered the country bumpkins. Well, that's, well, that's crazy. If you look at uh, history, you know, it's always been agriculture out here. Right, right. Oranges, right. The, the, the more of the ag- agriculture kind of environment. And San Bernardino was the, the city, you know. Right. Uh, traditionally, right, right. So, um, so no, that, that home is, of McDonald's, McDoodles, the McDonald brothers started you know, it there. Yeah, you go ahead and get you one of them. Um, and Del Taco started in Barstow. I mean, so we were advanced. Burgers. We were advanced in San Bernardino County. B- Baker started in San Bernardino County. Hey, look, look. I mean, do I need something? In, no, In and Out started out in San Gabriel Valley, but they were close. Look, they were up the street. They were close. You know, where did Riverside Reggie come from? Where did Kawhi come? I don't from? know. I know Kawhi comes back. Kawhi does stuff. In well, I said, where did he came from? I don't, where did he came from? I don't know I, where he come from. Maybe <laughs> Riverside, but I don't know. Reggie Miller never comes out here. So, I, you sure he's from out here? Stop that. He uh, I know, like I said, Kawhi is out here. No, Kawhi is, is, is all is, the time. Kawhi is a statue. His he, family's still out here. Kawhi is a statue, but Riverside Reggie does. Are you like, sure he didn't come from UCLA? I don't know. Stop that. Because he, I, I don't know if I've ever seen, heard him say pop. We're gonna bring Polly in here. We're gonna bring because because you know because because it's okay. about that time. Okay. We're gonna bring the, the one pop. thing I do like is is. Kawhi makes Reggie acknowledge that he's from the side and not L.A. Oh, Gary, well, that's oh, no, I mean. no, no, I, I do. Now, Cheryl is from the IE. I know that. She ain't from the IE. She's from Riverside. Stop okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that straight right now. You know, we ain't going to do this. You're going to keep your, you going to stop that. <laughs> Well, that's, yeah, got, got to, man. Sure, with the Jerry Curl. No, you know what I'm saying? That Reggie Curl couldn't beat until he was in the ele- beat until the 11th grade. You call a Jerry Curl Cheryl. Yeah, the, uh, the greatest female basketball player ever. Hands down. Uh, but, yeah, we have a great show lined up. Uh, Coach B, like you said, we have a, a great show uh, ahead of us. Uh, we have a special guest going to be calling in. Yep, yep. Uh, Lonzo. And, no, we don't mean that, Lonzo. Yes. Because I think some people, when we say Lonzo, they think, you mean oh, no, 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 no. Lonzo you mean no Burns. boy in them? Lonzo no, we Burns. We talking about Burns in them. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's, it's I follow Burns on social media. Yes. He has clips of him playing DB at SC and then his son playing DB at uh, Arizona. I think his youngest son is at uh, Chafee. Right. Um, and you can see them all making interceptions, making plays, man. That's, so that is, that's nice. Family business, man. But let's take a commercial break. Cause, take a commercial break uh, and we'll come back. No, I'm not Lonzo. Lorenzo. Lorenzo, Lorenzo Burns. Burns. So what Lorenzo am I thinking Burns. about? You better you know, Coach Burns going to make me do I, updates. Yeah, no, he's going he gonna to see me tonight in the game. Fingers taped. not ringing right now. <laughs> Coach, Coach Burns, I don't play that. Not with my son. Right, right. Yeah. Let's do this. You're listening to IE Sports Day, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox. Sports, 1350. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Kinematics Physical Therapy and Sports Performance looks forward to partnering with you in the restoration of your wellness and expediting you back to your active life. We'd love to see you at our spacious clinic, conveniently located in Norco at 1801 3rd Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951-777-2178. That's 951-777-2178. Or visit our website at kptsport.com. Our clinic is an outpatient orthopedic clinic designed to treat general pain, post-operative conditions, and athletic rehab rehabilitation using research standards of care. When you step through our doors, your pain becomes ours and we will work diligently to help manage whatever life has thrown at you. We provide educational and screening services to the community free of charge. Services provided include health screenings, monthly health courses, sports venue coverage, and fundraising. We'd love to meet you at our spacious clinic conveniently located in Norco at 1801 3rd Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951-777-2178. That's 951-777-2178. 
888-5178 or visit our website at kptsport.com. All are welcome who aren't afraid to recover their potential. You know, one thing that I love is my daughter and I just had Daddy and Daughter Day. And we went to Stone Fire Grill. And I'll tell you right now, I love the tri-tip. And you were saying that you loved what? I'll take the potatoes. Absolutely. I mean, those are the absolute best. You know what that's got me thinking about? I don't. It's got me thinking about lunch. Oh, wow. Thinking about what to eat for dinner or lunch? You can't go wrong with a freshly prepared, simply delicious meal from Stone Fire Grill. Bring home our fresh from scratch salad, pizza, pasta, signature tri-tip, oh my God, chicken, and more. Visit your neighborhood Stonefire Grill in Rancho Cucamonga and the Terra Vista Town Center on the corner of Haven Avenue and Foothill Boulevard or skip the line and order ahead. Go to stonefiregrill.com for easy pickup and delivery options. I tell you this, when we did the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame for two years in a row, they fed all of our people. And you know where me and my daughter went this past weekend? Where'd you go? Stonefire Grill. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Since 1952, ThinkWise Credit Union has served education professionals and families in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange Counties. ThinkWise gives back to the community with financial education and support to local schools and organizations. Join us today to experience a safe and comfortable alternative to banking that gives back. ThinkWise Credit Union. You'll feel good about what we can accomplish together. Visit our website at thinkwisecu.org. Member NCUA, equal housing lender, qualified members only. What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. You're just checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Shares Association. We are live at Fox Sports Radio, AM 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know what? It comes to Inland Empire Sports. You know the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you follow us at FoxSports1350.com. And everything is at IE Sportsnet. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, now, we have a very special guest on the Boost Mobile B Her Celebrity Hotline, Coach B. We uh, we know this gentleman through. We actually saw, saw him when he was at playing in high school. Right. right, six years ago, he was uh, he was one of the, our first guests. When we were in the broom closet over yeah. in San Bernardino. Oh, San Bernardino. Yes, Jack yeah. Nicholson, another <laughs> hundred. But hey, uh, please introduce yourself to the Fox Sports Radio audience, sir. Yes, hello everybody. Lorenzo Burns on the phone. Man, hey, hey, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Uh, making up the next some time for us this morning, man. But uh. Congratulations on completing your – because you're done over there at Arizona. Is that correct? Uh, no, I'm actually coming back for my uh, last year, my senior season. Oh, well, okay. That's what's up right there. Now, you're coming back. Mm -hmm. Now, you had uh, – I mean, you guys, obviously – I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, to, me, to us, you, you know, you had a spectacular season. Uh, but, but mm -hmm. you know, but talk to us about your season, how you felt about the, the 2019 season for you in particular. Well, on a personal level, I felt like I did – I did my job, and I was proud of the accomplishments I got. Um, but as far as, you know, on the whole team standpoint, you know, it wasn't the way I wanted to end the season and the year especially. But some of the kids I came into school with, you know, a lot of them, you know, are graduating this year, and we didn't make a bowl game. So, you know, next year <clears throat> I have a lot more higher expectations for, for the end of our season. Right. Now you finished the, the season off. You had um, 35 solo tackles, four interceptions. Now – now, you know, that's, you know, look, I've never had an interception. I mean, I don't know about Coach B, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that was just some great accomplish, accomplishments right there. But, again, talk to us about this this season in particular in terms of, like, what what did you see out there that you could have done better that you really, like, that kind of, like, lit a fire on you to return for the next year? Right. Uh, you know, just, just a small amount of things. Just, um, I guess staying – well, everybody gets nicked up throughout the season, but – Throughout the second half of the season, just being more consistent with my play and, you know, stop playing through more injuries and things like, or I shouldn't say injuries, but being more healthy, putting on a little bit more weight and being able to sustain the second half of the season. That's that's pretty much it. Because other than that, you know, I just 
football is football. You just go out there and have a good time and play to the best of your ability. So. Absolutely, and I know what you feel when you said you didn't. You didn't feel like you had your best season last year. That's how I felt in high school uh, when I never got on. The, I never got on the field. But that's, that's that's another show. But tell me about this when we, when you when you were coming out because your 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 dad uh, Deshaun Burns over at Linfield Christian um, he has a a long history of coaching kids up and getting kids ready. And he was talking about you early on when you came out of high school. They only listed you as a three star. And I tell my son this all the time: the stars are people' opinions. Uh, but when right. you went there, you made a huge impact um you've played pretty much you've gotten you've gotten time ever since i believe your freshman year um is that mm-hmm. something when you went to arizona and you said hey i gotta prove the naysayers wrong because i am a, a high quality player mm-hmm. right it, i mean, it was i did have a chip on my shoulder coming in just because like you said uh, uh, the stars coming out of high school i personally feel like their opinions i don't i think anywhere you go you, and you're a true ball player somebody's gonna find you Anybody's gonna pick you up. You gonna find a way to showcase your talent anywhere on any stage. So coming in, I did have that chip and just being able to show people that it doesn't matter where you play, it's just how you play. It right. was a big deal for me, and I and I'm I'm pretty much proud of everything. And then having a dad like you know Deshaun Burns constantly, who's so who's so passionate, constantly on your head. You know you got you got to do good, or you're gonna hear a mouthful. So, right. Oh, believe me, when he coached our All Star game the first year, as a decision that he had his fingers taped up. So I mean, yeah, he is, yeah, he is yeah, serious he, about it's the game. It's almost like he in the game. Right, right, right. You, you know, I saw. Uh-huh. Talk a little bit about this man because you know I, I have two boys, and one of my sons is a spitting image of me. Um, when, mm-hmm. when, when do you and your dad talk about that? Because I follow him on social media. He had a clip where he was playing in college. Um, he got an interception. He shows a clip with you playing in college, getting an interception, and then your brother uh, got a clip that got an interception. I mean, you guys all play corner now. Right, right, correct. Do you ever? T- do you guys ever talk about dad? I'm better than you. I mean, <laughs> has that conversation come? Let me look at my stats. Do you ever do that? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, almost every time I come home, my brother and I, especially my brother and I, we you know compete all the time and tell each other how we can guard each other and ride each other. But with my dad, oh yeah, it's times ten. What's up, all dad? <laughs> We're younger. It's all we make you breaking your ankles. You can't cover it. You put money on the line, all that. So that's good. That's yeah, good. It, it, it's just fun trash talk. And we're, we're, we're happy, man. We've, we've watched your career. And, and, and a funny, uh, or I shouldn't say funny, but fun, uh, uh, a fun fact is my daughter's at Chafee. So um, I've seen your brother oh, okay. out there as well. Um, so he's doing yeah. really, really good stuff, man. And then you, you're, you have a sister that's an athlete. I mean, is it, what, what, is, what is Coach Burns doing over there, man? I mean, you, you guys are all have, have become uh, monster athletes. Is, is she in, in college yet? Is she still in high school, your, your sister? Uh, yeah, my, my dad, man, he, he's. He's, he's different. He, like I say, he's very passionate on what he does. So he put 110 percent, a thousand percent in everything he does on the field. From the way he he's instructing something to the way he's coaching. You. So you know, it's just the way he coaches, and I and I owe a lot of my success to him. No, no doubt. Now, now during your tenure over at Arizona, you also got a chance to share the field with another. Inland Empire native, our guy JJ Dynamite Taylor. How was it? Right. How was it playing with Taylor? Uh, Taylor, and then also he he made his commitment. He's going to go ahead and jump to the NFL draft. What are your expectations about his jump? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I expect him to do well. Like, I've been playing with JJ since seventh grade. Um, Warner before they became the Inland Empire Ducks. Okay. So I've been playing. Yeah, I've been playing with him for a while. I've been knowing for a while. It's my best friends, family. Nice. My roommate since I since I came here, um, I expect him to do well. You know, he's one of the same same type of album player as me as where well, uh, as the mindset goes. Like he was only a three star because right. of his height. JJ right. was five ten. He probably have offers from everywhere, but um, right. he's only five six, I believe. Pretty short, but I mean, when you watch him play, you can't tell. You, you would think he's six three. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, right. um, I expect him to show out on this pro day. I mean, are some teams will they get past him because his height? Probably, but I think at the end of the day, a team that picks him up is going to be very lucky because you know he's a special player. Yeah, it is right there. And again, man, we really appreciate you, man. Keep up the good work, man. And uh, we really appreciate you. You know, you always coming home, man, and, and uh, working with these kids. And I'm sure you got a great story uh, to tell them about, you know, about the work that it takes to be a student athlete at the next level, man. So again, keep up the good work, and you always got a home here, okay? Sir, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And we'll see. We'll see his dad tonight because his dad's going to be the defensive coordinator in the uh, 
uh, the Riverside Sheriff's Association game. And I, and I get it was talking about J.J. because the greatest running back ever, um, uh, Barry Sanders, was, wasn't was tall either. But uh, uh, we, we'll take a commercial break. You're going uh, to stop, you're gonna stop <laughs> disrespecting and the Mad Dog Smith. But oh, right stat there. boy. But um, <laughs> let's go ahead and take right there. We got to make sure I give, give a big shout out again right there. Lorenzo Burns right there. Arizona Wildcats uh-huh. right, right there, man. You know, calling. Bear down. down. Bear down. There you go. Let's go ahead and take, let's take this quick commercial break. You are you are listening to IE Sports Net, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. And he turned it. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Kinematics Physical Therapy and Sports Performance looks forward to partnering with you in the restoration of your wellness and expediting you back to your active life. We'd love to see you at our spacious clinic, conveniently located in Norco at 1801 3rd Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951-777-2178. That's 951-777-2178. Or visit our website at kptsport.com. Our clinic is an outpatient orthopedic clinic designed to treat general pain, post-operative conditions, and athletic rehabilitation using research standards of care. When you step through our doors, your pain becomes ours, and we will work diligently to help manage whatever life has thrown at you. We provide educational and screening services to the community free of charge. Services provided include health screenings, monthly health courses, sports venue coverage, and fundraising. We'd love to meet you at our spacious clinic, conveniently located in Norco at 1801 3rd Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951-777-2178. That's 951-777-2178. Or visit our website at kptsport.com. All are welcome who aren't afraid to recover their potential. You know, one thing that I love is my daughter and I just had Daddy and Daughter Day. And we went to Stone Fire Grill. And I'll tell you right now, I love the tri-tip. And you were saying that you loved what? I'll take the potatoes. Absolutely. I mean, those are the absolute best. You know what that's got me thinking about? I don't. It's got me thinking about lunch. Oh, wow. Thinking about what to eat for dinner or lunch? You can't go wrong with a freshly prepared, simply delicious meal from Stone Fire Grill. Bring home our fresh from scratch salad, pizza, pasta, signature tri-tip, oh my God, chicken, and more. Visit your neighborhood Stonefire Grill in Rancho Cucamonga and the Terra Vista Town Center on the corner of Haven Avenue and Foothill Boulevard or skip the line and order ahead. Go to stonefiregrill.com for easy pickup and delivery options. I tell you this, when we did the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame for two years in a row, they fed all of our people. And you know where me and my daughter went this past weekend? Where'd you go? Stonefire Grill. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Since 1952, ThinkWise Credit Union has served education professionals and families in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange Counties. ThinkWise gives back to the community with financial education and support to local schools and organizations. Join us today to experience a safe and comfortable alternative to banking that gives back. ThinkWise Credit Union. You'll feel good about what we can accomplish together. Visit our website at thinkwisecu.org. Member NCUA, equal housing lender, qualified members only. This is Robin Littell from BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. 
Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association. We are live on Fox Sports Radio AM 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you follow us at FoxSports1350.com and everything at IE Sportsnet, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I was just sitting here doing a throwback okay. uh, picture, you know, from the first All-Star game we ever did. It was a guy in there. Uh, uh oh! What is his name? Alex Alex Man- Madison. Oh uh oh! You know our guy this play. You know that was starting at the Vikings, started, now, right? Well, he don't start, but I mean he sp- he you know he spells for our guy Cook. Uh, but again, Alexander Madison, our guy right there, San Bernardino represent. Yes. And uh, he was in our first ever uh, Inland Valley Classic All Star Game, and maybe these two gentlemen right here, maybe they may be a future NFL prospect. You never know. Man. True indeed. True indeed. You never but I, know. But I tell you what. Uh, they played great, and they made the trip. They were on the winning team. So let me have you gentlemen introduce yourself to the Fox Sports Radio audience, please. Uh, my name is Jordan Barton from Damien High School. I play quarterback. Okay. Named after the second greatest basketball <laughs> player ever. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> I digress. He looks like he's going to bust you up. Sorry about that. Go ahead, please. My name is Kay Miller uh, from Diamond Ranch High School, quarterback. There it is right there. Now, you guys, man, uh, you guys were the two quarterbacks out there because it was, it was only two quarterbacks, That's right? My quarterback. Just, okay, man. just to confirm, because I, I remember those are my quarterbacks. quarterbacks. I'm getting a little emotional, man. You know, you know. Uh, uh, but I, I'll start with you, Jordan. Uh, talk to us a little bit about just about how the game felt. You know, when when you started out, uh, because again, it was one of those games where you guys kind of jumped out to a 14 point lead, and then all of a sudden they came back. You know, but talk to us a little, how you felt about the game. Go ahead, put that mic up. Uh, honestly, going in, I was. Wasn't too sure because uh, the whole week I'd been asking Kate about the offense since it was his offense. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so that's when you were working his yeah. offense. Oh, okay. So I, was a little, I was a little nervous. I was like, okay, hopefully I remember the plays when I go out there. Yeah. Um, but it's it kind of just, just like a regular game. Just you just roll with it and go now, through the with the game. Now I know when we st- it was so funny because I was, I'm, I've been watching the highlights and you know the highlights will be up tonight and oh really, we have highlights. Okay, go. I digress. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting lit up on social media, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, uh, you and me both. Uh, but uh, but no, the great thing about it was when we were watching. Uh, th- thank you, Holland. I appreciate that, man. After messing up the stuff. Uh, but one of the things uh, we uh, we talked to the coaches like weeks before, and we said, "Hey, there's not going to be." And we all agreed, no blitzing. That's what that's, I guess. That's did they tell you guys that? Uh, they said they could blitz one. Okay, they say five at max. So, <laughs> <laughs> so all of a sudden, I, I noticed that the blitzing kind of came pretty pretty regularly, right? Yeah. And I'm sure you guys saw that. And then, but I mean, you guys somehow got used to it because I know it's a lot. Everybody says in all star games, it's easier to play defense than it is offense because you guys have to remember plays and guys got to be stay on course. Where defense, you can just you know put your ears back and just go get them. But how was it dealing with those blitzes and stuff and people coming from everywhere? Um, uh, I mean. Just try to get away from it. That was, uh, <laughs> and I never played against those guys before. It wasn't like we watched film. Right, right. Stuff. So you didn't really know who was who. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. And that's one of the things when you think about that because you, you, I'm sure you're familiar with some of the names out there. There were some studs. Both of you guys were there. Was there anybody out there that you were that you played with or you played against? You're like, oh yeah, this guy was legit. I, I, or or somebody on defense. She was like, man, I don't want to go up against that guy. Either one of you guys can can uh, chime in on that. Uh, I don't know. On their offense, they had number five, and he was always making big plays. So yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. about defensive wise, but number five on offense was making plays. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so one thing, and, and this one thing, I, I'll, I'll ask Jordan. You know, you're the youngest. Um. So, so you know, I'm the youngest as well. You know. Uh, like, are, you, are, you, are you the youngest of your brothers? I am. Ah. Yeah. There you go. That's what we I'm talking. We call that baby brother. That's what we call that. Uh, younger brother. Oh. Uh, do you oh. go by baby brother or younger brother? Uh. Baby brother. I oh, I, okay. 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 So he's comfortable with it. He's comfortable with it. Now, one thing I like, man, you <laughs> talked about uh, next year, you're going to go play at, at the University of Redlands. And Redlands is a great program. You're going to stay local. What, what was the decision factor in wanting to go uh, stay local and play at, the, at Redlands? Um, honestly, I had a good feeling I was going to end up there about halfway through the season just because I built a really good relationship with Coach Maynard and Coach Good and Coach Mariani. And I just felt really comfortable there. And it felt like a second home, basically. Right. I did. I, I, I he turned out he must watch our game because I because the our MVP from the Inland Valley game that played the Akaipa went to University of Redlands, yeah, and then exactly. our MVP from last year's Sheriff game is at Redlands as well. Jo- um, oh, uh, the, the Mighty Mouse guy, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Kate. Legit. 
let's 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 talk a little bit about what you got going now, on. Now Kate man. had the Kate had the visor on, man. Now I mean, now Kate, tell us. Cause and you, you see the the earrings. He got I mean, the drip. I mean, I mean now because because your your your, cause your father's here. That's your father, right? Just yes, make sure. Sir. I want to make sure I'm here. Not, I'm gonna mess nothing up. Uh, but. Your father was saying you had been waiting a long time to wear that vice. I know that's like a no-no in CIF, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so how how did you get worried that you were gonna be able to wear the vice, or you just like he's like, hey, no, I'm wearing it? Well, like uh, in the beginning of the season, we wore it for pictures because you know it looks sick. Right, so right, right, right. Pictures, and then we wear it for practice, and then they said we could wear it during the All Star game. So all of us got our dark tin vices <laughs> on. And we just right, with it. <laughs> right, right. And one, someone had one that was like multicolored. Yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it, it was it was like I mean because. I was trying to figure out how the kids can see, but Kate, you said you, you said it's no problem. You said it's like wearing like some light tint sunglasses in the club or something like that, right? Yeah, it's just wearing like sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you uh, you went out there and you had a uh, you had the uh, your running back out there, our guy Night Train. Mm -hmm. um, now Night, well, uh, um, he's from uh, uh, Upland. Upland. Mm -hmm. Now you you were playing. I mean, the the receivers you guys were throwing to out there, both those Upland kids. Talk about how playing with those kids out there because they caught some dynamic passes for you. Yeah, I know it's awesome. Uh, we were able to work with them uh, all through the week with practice, and we were able to mesh a little bit more. So it made it easier when it came game time. Uh, we were able to find them, and they got open pretty easily. So Yeah, yeah. God, I did notice that you guys had some really good – both of you guys had some good chemistry out there with those receivers. I mean, one of the times the guy tipped the ball and went, made, a, made a spectacular catch. So and then talk about that pitch. The, uh, oh, oh yeah, so so well, I mean, I was trying to get that. Yeah, yeah, like, explain. I, I want to hear yeah, about that because I, I well, you know, I was on social media. I missed the play. Oh, hopefully well, it's did. on the highlights. I didn't. I mean, okay. Mean, hopefully it's on the highlights. Come I on. just want to make sure, man. You My get nervous. So, I mean, you, you know, I was on the phone. But, you know, but, you know are, you, are you trying to say you was doing some heavy lifting, right? Yes. Oh, that, yes, I oh, was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just a little bit. time. About time. Right. Uh, but no, talk to us about because. The game, as we were saying, the game came down. I mean, all of a sudden, the East team, uh, no, excuse me, the, the uh, yeah, well, East, I, the East team. I got, I'm a little, a little off here. <laughs> uh, but they kicked the onside kick, mm -hmm. brought it back, tied it up. And so, I mean. Yeah, we, they were up 28-14. No, no. That, what, what, about five minutes to yeah, go in the fourth? Yeah. So, you guys were up. I mean, and, and it was looking like it was going to be a runaway. All of a sudden, they just come back dramatically. What were your thoughts going into overtime? I asked both of you guys. I'll ask you first, Kate. Yeah, you know, I was, like, kind of worried because, uh, I don't know. I didn't want to lose, and we were up by two touchdowns, and then they started coming back, and I was like, "Oh man, here we go!" Right, right. <laughs> and, and the momentum was just crazy out there. Yeah, Fourteen unanswered points that they they yeah. had. Yes. And so, and, and if you if you remember, um, had they made that play right before halftime, because because you know they they messed up and they the, the ball got snapped over the quarterback's head, uh -huh. and they had position right there. Had they made a play right there, that could have been significantly different for you guys. Right. But I mean, but I'll ask you too, Jordan. How did you feel going into overtime? Um, honestly, I had a feeling we were going to pull it out, even though they had the momentum switch. Yeah. Um, I I knew we had the better players. So. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> he was like, he was like, no, nah, I, I know who we had. And that's why the coach Escobar got after it uh, yeah. when it comes oh, to the players. No question. And now, and then going into overtime, uh, you guys knew already that they they botched the field. I mean, the extra point. So all you guys had to do was like, you know, score and make something happen. But Talk about that last play. Now, how did that last play? I mean, because that last play was one of those. I was, I was just glad the referees allowed it to go because it was one of those. It was close. It was really, really close. But talk about, about that last play. Oh, uh, well, so it was like just a basic inside zone. And he got stuffed at the line. And he, like, threw one guy off him. And then he started to spin around. And once he was spinning around going down, he, we made eye contact. He tossed me the ball. And I just took off on the right side and nobody was there. So, <laughs> so that's so that's what I thought. So he got the yeah, pitch. Yes, yeah, so, we couldn't. Okay, because I mean, it happened so fast. I didn't know if, if you were if you were running the ball or. But so so they pitched to you. I mean, and just think about that. I mean, because you were. I mean, you were able to just escape right in there, and yeah. that was game time. Man. Was I mean, his knee down? No, actually, he was like he was like. Are you halfway sure? Standing no, up. No, he was. Okay, I'm telling okay. you, though, it was. Okay, it, it was. Okay. Legit. I, I, was I heard like, people saying his knee was down. No, no, that's no, because he was he was like he was going back, and it was just. I mean, it was great awareness. I mean, it was really really good awareness on that. And like you said, you were able to get the ball and get in there. Yeah, nobody was around. They were all bunched up against him. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, how, was, how did that feel, man, going in there, winning that thing in overtime? I had to feel great, man. Uh, it was amazing. I loved it. It was a it was a great game, great experience, and I just loved it all. Fantastic. And then the, the kicker got the extra point. So so basically, the West team scored in overtime, <laughs> did not get the uh, the extra yes, point. correct. Um, so the East team scored the touchdown and then got the extra point. And it, I mean, they ran off like it was, you know, CIF championship, know, it was, man. It was, so it was, big was, it was pretty it, cool, it was man. Great. It was, you know, that's the first time we've ever, you know, in our six-year history that we've ever, well, I think it was the fifth, well, fifth, 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 fifth. Fifth. Fifth year. Rappers, producers. I mean, anyway, fifth, fifth year, whatever. <laughs> but uh, but it, was a, it was the first time we ever went through overtime. It was just a great game. I mean, the the all the press people talking. Talking about it, man. So it was really, really great. And right. again, K, man, keep up the good work, man. I see you in here. You said you maintained a 4.0, huh? Yes. Sir. I mean, man, how did you? I mean, let me tell you something. I mean, cause I think 4.0 would have been 
that'd have been all my years put together. You know what I mean? Would have been a 4.0. I mean, because, you know, we, we struggled out there. But talk to us about uh, performing well in the classroom and doing it on the, on the field. How was that? I mean, I know that must be tough. Yeah, well, my mom's a teacher, so uh, uh -oh, she's uh -oh, always doing uh -oh, uh -oh. me. Yeah, uh -oh. that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, man, that'll mom's do a it. teacher, boy. She, you, you can't, can't come home and say, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> or, or no, I don't have any homework. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> she, knows, she knows how it goes. So. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. What, what, what take, what, I mean, uh, may, please name drop mom real quick. Make sure we name drop mom. Lisa Miller. There it is, Miss Miller. And, and I'll tell you a true, true story, man. My, my kids were about in the fifth grade, and they have this thing called Common Core Math. And I'm showing my kids how to do math. And I know how to do math. Right. But my son's like, you're doing it wrong. I was like, I, I, it's like you can't use your fingers. You can't, it's just, oh, it's man. just, it's like three ways to get to the answer. Well, and I, I just, mean, we'll I, get, I, hey. I, we weren't taught common core. <laughs> so I have no idea how to do common core. You know? So I said, you, you need a tutor. So I, right. I gave up. I gave up. So. There it is right there. Now, we got to make sure we got to get our, our, our guy Jordan. Jordan, if you want to uh, do some shout outs real quick. Man. He made right. first team all league baseline. There it is right there. You got to like that. R run it. Now, that's Damon over there, too. Over at Damien, so that's a good thing. Damien, I, I, I did, I was, I did your, Damien. Uh, Damien. come on, man. get it right, Damien, Damien man. Damien. How did how was y'all year? Um, it went better than last year, honestly. Yeah, uh, but um, we still had, our record didn't really really like reflect how good we were. Yeah, and how well it went. Yeah, that baseline uh, league is tough. It is. It's yeah, a really tough league. So, uh, every day is like it's like the real deal. So oh, yeah, yeah. So, but, but please uh, get get some shout outs real quick, man. I know you want to hook some folks up. Um, obviously I want to shout out my dad and nope. for bringing me here, and obviously uh, you know working with me all through these years the high school and then shout out my mom taking me to school and back and taking me wherever i need to go i heard that man that's good go. stuff they, right there and then and kate was mvp of the league yeah I mean, so so you're mvp of the league as well yes i was mvp oh, of the league mvp of the game that's you know right. that, that is rapper producer ceo right there okay there it is well it's only right man we'll keep up the good word both you guys man and stay in contact with us man that way because if you guys get drafted or something like that we at least got to be around for absolutely. the draft party or something like that <laughs> absolutely man. Yes, all right i keep tell up. you the reason we wanted them in here for sure they're, they're social media when we i mean they oh, have yeah. uh, over a thousand views on on, on multiple videos we'll talk that's talk more than i ever got in my life man, right how was that response been? That response has been great for you guys for the last week, man. How how's that response been about people talking about that All Star game? They carry you on campus, or you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. It's nothing. If they know about it, they know about it. If not, then there's nothing really. There, He's I, like, I'm used to this. I'm, I'm used to this, man. He's like, it, it did say MVP. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> well, you guys keep up the good work, man. Thank you guys for coming. Again, man, it was a great game. We appreciate your support, man. And again, that's what the game's all about, man. Wait, no, where you going to put those jerseys? I want to make sure you guys still got them somewhere, right? I already hung mine up in my room. There, there you, you go. got yours hung up. What about yours? It's in my closet right now. But uh, oh, you got you got some plans for it? I'll probably take it to my dorm or something. Okay, there, there you go. Right there. You there gotta love it. Right there. You gotta love it. Coach B, let's do it, man. There you go, Kay Miller and Jordan uh, Barton. Make sure I get it right. I don't want to, you know, I want to say it wrong, man. You're already messed up already, man. Two of the quarterbacks, I know. Quarterbacks. From the Inland from the Valley. Winning, from the winning squad. There you go. The Inland Valley Hall of Fame Classic. Um, they won the game 35-34. It was the East team that was victorious. No, West team. I'm sorry. The West yep, team definitely. that was victorious in the fifth Coach annual. Martinez right there. Yes. Yes, sir. Him and Coach Escobar. Great yes. game. And we at the game, we had a chance to uh, honor Coach Salter from Upland. Yes. Um, and Coach Tyree that was at yes. A.B. Miller yes. as well as Fo high so and ramona and, yeah oh yeah that's right he was at ramona, yeah, ramona. and he uh, said i want to get back to san bernardino county <laughs> but let's go ahead and, and do this and he's 80 years old and he told me he is looking for a head coaching job still coaching so let's go ahead and do this are we ready to take a commercial break <laughs> you are listening to ie sports net protected by the riverside sheriff's association with the one and only <laughs> coach b andy turtle when it comes to illinois power sports you know the conversation starts and stops here live on fox sports 1350 we'll be right back after this you're listening to iesportsnet.com the inland empire sports authority score sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years founded in 1975 score sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of southern california they offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports 
or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S C O R E S P O R T S. Kinematics Physical Therapy and Sports Performance looks forward to partnering with you in the restoration of your wellness and expediting you back to your active life. We'd love to see you at our spacious clinic, conveniently located in Norco at 1801 Third Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951 777 2178. That's 951 777 2178. Or visit our website at kptsport.com. Our clinic is an outpatient orthopedic clinic designed to treat general pain, post-operative conditions, and athletic rehabilitation using research standards of care. When you step through our doors, your pain becomes ours, and we will work diligently to help manage whatever life has thrown at you. We provide educational and screening services to the community free of charge. Services provided include health screenings, monthly health courses, sports venue coverage, and fundraising. We'd love to meet you at our spacious clinic, conveniently located in Norco at 1801 Third Street, Suite 101. Call us at 951-777-2178. That's 951-777-2178. Or visit our website at kptsport.com. All are welcome who aren't afraid to recover their potential. You know, one thing that I love is my daughter and I just had Daddy and Daughter Day. And we went to Stone Fire Grill. And I'll tell you right now, I love the tri-tip. And you were saying that you loved what? I'll take the potatoes. Absolutely. I mean, those are the absolute best. You know what that's got me thinking about? I don't. It's got me thinking about lunch. Oh, wow. Thinking about what to eat for dinner or lunch? You can't go wrong with a freshly prepared, simply delicious meal from Stone Fire Grill. Bring home our fresh from scratch salad, pizza, pasta, signature tri-tip, oh my God, chicken, and more. Visit your neighborhood Stonefire Grill in Rancho Cucamonga and the Terra Vista Town Center on the corner of Haven Avenue and Foothill Boulevard or skip the line and order ahead. Go to stonefiregrill.com for easy pickup and delivery options. I tell you this, when we did the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame for two years in a row, they fed all of our people. And you know where me and my daughter went this past weekend? Where'd you go? Stonefire Grill. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Since 1952, ThinkWise Credit Union has served education professionals and families in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange Counties. ThinkWise gives back to the community with financial education and support to local schools and organizations. Join us today to experience a safe and comfortable alternative to banking that gives back. ThinkWise Credit Union. You'll feel good about what we can accomplish together. Visit our website at thinkwisecu.org. Member NCUA, equal housing lender, qualified members only. What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. And you're checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports Net protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association. Live on Fox Sports AM 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you follow us at foxsports1350.com. It is so rough, so tough out here. Uh, wow, what a great, it's a Saturday, the calm before the storm, going down tonight at Citrus Hill. The storm on the field, not in the, not in the sky. There oh, oh no. no storms tonight. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Tonight, oh, tonight. It is beautiful California tonight, Oh, man, let me tell you something. You can, you, you are going to be, it, it is going to be, for right now what the reports are saying, um, that there may, you know, there was supposed to be an overcast today, but I, I woke up and the sun was a shining. They said it's supposed to be clear skies tonight, so y'all just come through, dress warm, and enjoy a hot cup of joe and some great football, Coach B. Yes, sir. I'm so excited. I tell you, you know, because I was, you know, I, I'm going to stop doing this because I remember the first year we did the Inland Valley Classic. Yes, sir. It was supposed to be on a Saturday. We moved it on a Sunday because I was looking at these weather reports at like 30 days out. Mm -mm. You just can't depend on those 30-day out no, weather reports. The 30-day ones make you nervous. Two weeks, is, two weeks is good. Two weeks is good because yeah. that way they kind of have an idea right. what that Doppler's doing. Exactly. I mean? So, but uh, but yeah, 30 days out, it makes you it makes you paranoid. We don't need no more gray hair. Exactly, because when I looked at the 30-day, it said it was supposed to rain on the 11th and the 8th. 
18. Yeah, oh yeah, man. That, that's, that was like I was like crying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah so. I tell you, I, I was nervous because of Thursday, because you know rain can move a couple yes, of days. Yes, it can. And when it rained Thursday, I was nervous because Friday well, it, it was rain, still it, rain. If I said no, it, it rained Friday. Thurs, uh, Friday was, morning. Yes. yes. Thursday night, Friday morning. Yes. It was still rain clouds. Yeah. And I was uh, like, man, come on now. I, I don't, matter of fact, let's stop. Let's let's let's, let's stop. Like, let's, I know this could be our rain day yeah, stuff, right? Do, right. Because last year we were giving weather reports. Oh man, and I didn't want to do that. I had weather reports all. I mean, I was in the park. We were tweeting them. Yes. And then on the air. Oh, matter of fact, we had. Oh yeah, we, we talked about we, it on the air. We had to literally treat. We had to tweet the the best. We yeah. found the best weather schedule per and hour. We, per hour. Yes. And we literally tweeted that. out. You yes. read about that? Wow. Yes, we did. And we okay. talked about it on air. Yeah, because they kept saying it was gonna rain that day. Yes. Yes. Oh god. I, I think, like I said, I think it had something to do with us being at Ramona. Keep it up. Um, hey, yo, keep it so up. we found a new location, it's a good, it's new a home. Good thing, it's a good thing we have very special people here in the studio. Otherwise, I mess around and I lose my wig right now. You know, I jump out my bag. That's like James Brown used to say. All right, so back to what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> Talk about I love Citrus Hill, man. I'll tell you this, man, no, no, yeah. and I know we're going to get uh, Stacey in uh, from Farmers because she is Farmers. Yes. Um, but the, the good thing, I, I, I can't tell you how, how much Coach McMaines has helped behind oh, the goodness. scenes. Um, that 215 game wouldn't exist without his help. True. And now he has, uh, we had some bumps in the road, but I tell you, he has got it all smoothed out. Yeah, you I know? mean, it, it's, well, you know what it is. It's a new campus for him. Uh -huh. and, you know, normally when coaches, make that transition to a brand new school they don't want to get involved in post-season activities right uh but again open up this door for us. they've been extremely gracious thank right. you so much for to the valverde school district yes sir as well as the staff over at citrus hill just really making some uh, great accommodations for us because it, 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 it's, a, it's a tall order i realized how far it is i had to make a payment for the stadium uh it's an hour drive from fontana well, to I'm, their school district. Yeah, well, you know, your man's name was right around the corner. Jesus there, you Christ. Know, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, I, but you you were not in the area I know, at the time. I was, I was but, in, you know, and it had to be there by 5 o'clock. I had to. So or, we, or, you know, you know the, the gate would be locked. I was about to say, otherwise, we'd have, to, we'd have to go in there and, you know, set up that extension cord for the lights. <laughs> 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 Been there, done that. <laughs> True indeed. <laughs> uh, but again, anyway, we have our uh, special guest here. Man, I'm here every week. I know, I know. I'm every right. week I'm um, here, man. And we, again, you know? we would be remiss if we wouldn't, again, we're, uh, uh, thank you so much to our supporters. Of, yes, sir. Uh, the Riverside Sheriff's Association, this does not happen without their gracious support, their generosity, and their, their belief in uh, Coach B and myself to pull this off. Again, thank you so much to uh, uh, Mr. Bill Young, um, all the support, as well as the, the former uh, president of the RSA, uh, Mr. Masson, Mr. Robert Masson, and, and again to our guy, Val Graham, who's always you know behind the scenes uh, supporting us, uh, saying good words about us. But again, we are here uh, with Miss Stacy Ann Holgate, Farmers Insurance, and you will see. You will, let me tell you something. You will not be able to enter the game without seeing Miss Stacy Ann Holgate. How are you on this wonderful Saturday morning? Good morning. I'm loving this weather. That's yes. all I can say. <laughs> I'm a fan of the heat. Uh huh. Yeah, yes. There yeah, you yeah. go. So yeah, there let me you tell go. you something. I, I tell everybody. You know, I was born right. I mean, I feel like I was born deep, 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 deep Africa. Uh, but then it was this Riverside, it was this Riverside Community Hospital. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, I like, I like the sun. I like the sun too. I'm from Jamaica. We are the sun. Yes. We are the sun. There it is. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just born in Bellflower. Man. You know what I mean? It's Bellflower Kaiser. That's my dad. You know? my dad said, Boy, you was born in Parkview Community Hospital. <laughs> but I digress though. Uh, last week you were out there. It was very, very, very brisk. Thank you. I mean, yeah, you came out there. You brisked the cold. Went out there, handled it, and went out there. But how has it been that this week has been a great week? Uh, uh, again, you saw the, the you were involved in the promotion. You see that beautiful lady on there that's miss stacy ann right there you know so you've already put a whole new star on our stuff because people get tired of looking at me and coach b all the time so i mean you guys are pretty handsome though okay well you know <laughs> thank you so much we i know that. I, I know Don't that I mean, right yeah right 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 you know but i mean she knows it you know <laughs> uh but you are, we talk because again you are you do the insurance uh farmers insurance but we talk about how how much it affects people uh we when we were wrapping up our meeting last week we talked about it um about you know you drive down the street you see people with the signs up doing car washes and so forth and they're, they're they're having to do that because they don't have life insurance and you were just talking about how important it is for people to get life insurance because it can just really you know people pass away unexpectedly i mean nobody you don't never know that's one of those things you never know you never know what's going to happen and when that you know it could, could sometimes it just really just puts a family in a lot of turmoil but talk to us about like how you how you help people out 
yeah, on the definitely. daily about stuff like that. So first off, I want to thank you guys both for putting on this event along with the Riverside Sharps Association. Oh, you welcome. Because, yes. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's an awesome thing for our youth. It's positivity bringing in um, our city and everybody together. Absolutely. But um, as far as life insurance is concerned, we use it for a lot of different things, right? We use it for retirement. We use it for income replacement. We have tax-free options. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me out there? Tax-free options. Well, well, it's important <laughs> around these times. Tax-free options with it. So there's a lot of things that we can do to customize it to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you a real quick story. This week, I had a client call me. Her husband didn't have life insurance. He passed away unexpectedly, wow. and she's left facing all these bills. Right. The first thing she says is, I need to do this because I only have my daughter and we can't lose this home. Right. right so we're right. gonna go ahead and take care of that for her. But these are just one of the many examples that we that I see on a daily basis to go ahead and assist everyone out there. Um, we can do like a thirty year term. To be perfectly honest with you, fifteen dollars for a young child, twenty one right. years old, fifteen dollars a month mm -hmm. doesn't cost anything. That, you know, and, and, and a lot of people don't know. I mean, when you when you look at the dollar amount that it costs for life insurance. Um, you know, a lot of times, I mean, you spend that at McDoodles. I right. mean, you know, when you go, you know, I mean, so, I mean, but I mean, I'm at McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, it's I, know, a, I know. Yeah. That I could know. be a, a future sponsor, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> so, so, like, don't be up there messing up stuff. You make a right. job hard. McDonald's, right. McDonald's. I said affectionately, but I'm saying, but, but what I'm saying is uh, uh, if you have an, yeah. I mean, you go out to eat, I mean, yeah, I mean, even during the week, you could spend uh, uh, upwards of 30 bucks and that could be the payment that you put down for your life insurance your right life there. Life insurance. Mm -hmm. And you're getting it back. Your family's getting it back. Right. Right. You know, right. Yeah. And, and the unfortunate thing, like you said, is I, 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 years ago, like 10 years ago, I got my license. I still keep it current. I keep it active. And like you said, I had a, a friend in high school. Same thing happened to her husband. And this was maybe 10 years ago when we were in our 30s. Her husband passed away. And that's one thing about you never know when that time can come. Mm -hmm. You know, I never cared about my mortality until I started having kids. Um, and those are some of the things that, that people have to make sure they do. Because the thing about it, people always come with these selfish answers. You know, when you'd ask someone, what happens to your family if you pass away? Well, I'll be dead. Who cares? But those are things. What, what do you do to educate people to understand? Because I got life insurance. I think I was 32, 33, and I'd already had, you know, uh, three kids, a wife, and a house. But what do you do to, to get someone to understand how important that is to get that life insurance? It's it's a real simple question is, who do you want to protect right. when you're gone? Right. You love your family now. Why right. not love them after? Right, right, it's right. It's a simple question. Right. Yeah. Um, these little small things. The gut things, punch. Yeah. These, and it, it's the truth, but these little small things, it goes a long way to not having to stress. And you not know? having to have car washes. Exactly. I mean, the... The rate for funeral nowadays is upwards of twenty twenty five thousand. Right, right, can cost someone almost fifty, depending on where you're going, the burial, the headstone, right. things of that nature. Right. And, and it's right. already <clears throat> when somebody passes. I mean, I, I just remember when you know my father passed. It was already extremely emotional. Already, right. mm -hmm. it's not anything you want to worry about. Yeah, and and then to have to worry about monetary things in, in addition to like going through emotional stuff, it has to just be like you know, it's just difficult. You know, and, and unfortunately, uh, it it affects. Um, uh, communities, uh, you know, a lot of time of, of color. Yeah, and then also another thing about the kids. One thing I talked about as well is is make sure you protect the kids. So is that something that I mean, people don't want to talk about that. Man, come on, you, as tough. a parent, you it's never tough. want to outlive your child. It's tough, but that's it, it, that's it, something it, it, that parents need to know as well. Yes. Correct? Yes, I mean, I can share very personally with both of you. I have two children, uh -huh. thirteen and five. They both have life insurance. Yeah, my kids and, do too. And it's not I'm saying they're going to pass away tomorrow. But you never know. You never know. You never know. I, have a, I have a case where we had a child healthy, playing football, mm -hmm. got hit the wrong way on the arm, a artery was clogged, and three days later, he's gone. Yeah. So yeah. you never know, and especially for our youth who are active, especially with a sport like football, we want right. to make sure that there's something there for the family. Right. Yeah. There's something there. And Absolutely. Little... I can't stress enough, little to pennies. Right. And, and, you just want to be able to bury your child without having to worry about it. Right. If you have to. If, that ever if, if you have if, to. If you so have to. Um, now, and, and again, while we're talking about this, please let the folks know, because again, I know we've been talking, but let the folks know, uh, Stacy and Holgate, Farmers Insurance. Been so active on social media. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Blowing up the All-Star game. I love it. Love it, love it. Um, how they can get in contact with you, please. Um, so I can be contacted on all social media platforms. Again, that is on Facebook, on Twitter, on IG at S Holgate, H-O-L-G-A-T-E agency. Um, I can also be reached directly at my office, 951-977-9899. Give me that number one more time. Please, I mean, and, and, yeah, Derry, <laughs> I was about to say, we want to make sure they get it real yes. quick. And again, this is for the people out there who are listening. Who, Her farmer's office. Yes, who know they need some help. 
or this man, we just wanted to talk about just the situation. Just want to even talk about yeah, it. Let's yeah. sit down. Yeah. Let's even have that conversation exactly. get started. Exactly. You might not be ready now, but maybe you're ready tomorrow, next week. But that number again is 951-977-9899. There you go. And hey, then, uh, go ahead. Well, I know my pub has been hitting me up a lot. They've been, they've been wanting to find me. Um, it's farmers only. <sighs> We're almost out of time. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, I, we didn't get time to t- discuss the fact that uh, my wife would get almost a meal ticket if something happened to me. <laughs> but we'll talk about that next <laughs> time. About, but say next week. She'll be back next week. <laughs> uh, again, it's going to be going down t- tonight. The first game starts at 5 o'clock. The next game starts at 7.30 tonight at Citrus Hill High School. The 215 in the RSA game. Thank you so much to the Riverside Sheriff's Association. Thank you so much, Coach McMaines, Coach Bardoff, Coach Legier, and Coach Fleming. Yeah, absolutely. So if something happens to me, she won't need that sugar daddy anymore. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and do this. Thank you for listening to IE Sports Net, protected by the Riverside Service Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports Radio, AM 1350. You gonna call me? I'm gonna call you! But if you come by, I won't call you. Okay? Don't ever, 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 ever come by here. Okay? Okay. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority.